What's up, duelists? Today, I'm gonna be recording with a deck I played on the bingo stream a few days ago. If you guys have not caught the bingo stream, definitely go check that out, it was a lot of fun. We played an Edison format bingo sort of thing, and we completed a lot of little check marks on a box with lots of fun little challenges that you can do in Edison format. There was a lot of wacky games, a super cool stream in general. Check it out if you haven't already. This is a deck that we built on stream together as a collective, me in the live chat, as sort of a way to try and fill out some of those bingo check marks all at the same time. At first, I was a little skeptical. I was thinking, okay, the heroes plus the black wings, that can't be good, right? You just have no trap cards. You have no defense. You have nothing. And then as we were playing the deck on stream, I was like, wait, this is actually really good. This is a really fast deck. You can oftentimes kill your opponent on like turn one or turn two. It has a little bit of a Vayu Turbo vibe, a little bit of an Absolute Zero vibe, and a little bit of a black wing vibe, all in the same sort of deck, but it's very, very aggressive. We've made space for all these different cards by cutting out basically, I mean, not basically, literally every trap card from the deck. There's no Icarus attacks because you don't really have enough black, black wings, wing beasts to support that. And there's no like Royal Oppressions because you're special summoning a ton. And those are pretty much the main trap cards in black wings. The rest of the trap cards just kind of got cut incidentally. We've got triple upstar goblin as well as a card destruction, a destiny draw, an allure, and a trade in to try and help you find your power cards like black whirlwind, dark arm dragon, and crazy one I was like the dark creator at the right times in the game. You also get to play emergency teleport, malicious, and dark refer so you have a few ways to kind of special summon out monsters, make plays without having to use your normal summon. I've made a few changes to this deck from the stream in the sideboard particularly. I was testing it a few days ago. I noticed that it was lacking a few things so since the stream I've added two royal decrees to the side. I've added two puppet plant and three smashing ground. I don't really like DD Crow in this deck because you don't play a lot of removal spells. And I think DD Crow is very good when you're removing your opponent's monster and then it's already in the grave. If their monster is not ever hitting the grave because you're not killing it with like an Icarus attack or something, then you have nothing to remove with DD Crow, more or less. My sort of answer to the absolute zero question is Puppet Plant and Smashing Ground. These are cards that are like, okay, you can resolve your Miracle Fusion, you can resolve your broken graveyard thing, I'll just take it and hopefully reversal you with my very aggressive synchro strategy. Also in the sideboard, you get to play Cold Wave, which is something that's super cool. Blackwing decks don't normally get to play Cold Wave because they're very spell and trap heavy, but in this deck, you get to do crazy stuff like Cold Wave Blizzard, which is awesome. That's like a cool little flavor win for sure, at the very least. <laughs> got one knock for the Nobleman Pope Ryko shenanigans, and then you got, of course, Dust Shoot and Deck Dev for the free wins that these cards give you occasionally. The extra deck is pretty straightforward. It's basically a standard Blackwing extra deck, and there's not much to it. Anyway, if you guys like this video, if you guys like these kind of cool deck creations, if you guys like Edison format in general, let me know in the comments. Show me show me some love with the likes. Show me some love with the subscribes. You, you know what we're doing. You know what we're doing. See you guys in the match. We've got a game versus Blue Noser Hoser. Good luck. Have fun, Blue Noser. We're playing the Blackwing Destiny Hero deck. He said, did you want to choose rock? No, haha. I wanted to choose paper because that won. Our hand's pretty nice. I think we are going to start with the trade-in, pitch the Dark Creator, and draw two. The Dark Creator is very good, but just getting a better look, maybe hitting the second Whirlwind. Mm, opponent said, oh no, but oh no, it, it might be a little different of an oh no than you think. We're going to grab Kalut here because that's our only way to defend ourselves in this deck at all. And then we're going to pass, and that's that. Next turn, we have Trunade plus another Whirlwind Search off of the Bora, and we should be good to just, just go nuts. We could even do something like Summon Blizzard Special Bora, get really aggressive, but I don't think we really need to do that too much. Hmm, what's the move? I guess we could start with a Shura attack, but is the Trunade getting any better? Let's be honest, is it getting any better? No, not really. Let's run it up right now. Let's run it up. Let's trunade back the whirlwind. And I think we are gonna get super aggressive. I think we are gonna do this. Normal summon the blizzard, activate black whirlwind, go search ourselves a Vayu. We're gonna special summon the Bora. We are going to synchro into a Bryonic, dragon of the ice barrier. We're gonna bounce their monster. Pitching, I think malicious, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll go Bryonic Direct for 2300. If they have Gores or Trag, we can use Shura plus Kalut to attack over it. 
which is how we want to go about things. Opponent's dead next turn unless they do something, and we're still at neutral advantage, but we also have Malicious and Grave. Hmm. 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 I like it. I like getting aggressive. Our deck doesn't like to play long games. Don't have traps for that kind of reason. Okay, Deep Sea Diva. This could make an android, which might buy my opponent a little bit more life. Not the worst. Not the worst. They did set a monster, so I believe they probably have... What's that card? Snowman Eater in their hand? They've got to have at least Snowman Eater, right? Hmm. Catastrophe's not that big of a deal. I think Android's a little bit better because it saves our opponent some life points and it deals a little bit of damage. But Catastrophe we can deal with easily. Hmm. Should we upstart Goblin? That's the question. That's the question everyone is asking. Mm, fuck it. Why not? We're not going to win this turn, I don't think, right? Wait, let's let's do some quick math. Let's do some quick, quick math, okay? No, we are definitely going to win this turn. We're definitely going to win this turn, so we should go. We should go. Am I the, the guy from E3? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Blue Noser Hoser. Love the content. Honestly, hell yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks. Well, I don't know if they're man or not. Oh, okay. Thanks. That means a lot. Pretty new to the format and your channel's a godsend. Well, really happy to help. That's super cool. Shout out to my opponent, Blue Noser Hoser. Super cool dude. Gotta got got throw that out there. Okay, let's start off with Blizzard. Blizzard effect. Activate. This is going to bring back the Bora in defense. And then we'll activate the Malicious in our graveyard as well. Our plan is to go for hmm, Stardust. Our plan is to go for Stardust, and then we will utilize the power of Shura plus Kalut to go for game. Stardust will help insulate us against most removal, except, of course, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Let's go for the Shura attack here first. See if our opponent has a response. Mirror Force. Okay, they're forced to Mirror Force. We'll use Stardust to negate, and then Damage Step, we'll use Kalut with the Shura attack. We'll be able to Special Summon Gale from deck. This should deal 1,000, and then 1,300. Yep, there's the 1,000. Then Shura will activate, Special Summon Gale from our deck. Do we want Gale or do we want Kalut? Definitely want Gale. Gale gets summoned. The effect is negated, so if they do drop a Gores on this Gale hit, we won't be able to have the gores, but we still will be able to make an armor master. <laughs> Opponent taking 13 life points. That's so funny. <laughs> and they gain 13 high. That's super funny. <laughs> F. F's in, the, F's in the comments for Blue Noser Hauser. <laughs> I've done the same exact thing like a million times. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There we go. Now, now we're accurate. Now we're accurate. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh. Uh... Let's just make the armor master and pass. I don't want to have to use this upstart goblin if I don't have to. I would like both of our monsters to be lethal threats if possible. Armor master, uh, not the best. It does kind of, oh, he's giving me back my Stardust Dragon. <laughs> Forgot about the Stardust Dragon. <laughs> of course, we might get fucked by a, by a Miracle Fusion, but hey, do what you can, do what you can. Miracle Fusion does break our board entirely. But then we have Vayu attack directly. Two turn clock, baby. Two turn Vayu clock. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, and they'll have to normal summon. I guess if they have an evil guy, if they have the evil guy, they will be able to special that and Miracle Fusion without using their normal. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should have processed this a little bit differently. Say, thanks for the Stardust catch. Oh, admitted defeat. Love to see it. Love to see it. Opponent couldn't really come back. Said no problem. Okay, okay, okay. Speaking of no problem, what do we have in the sideboard for this matchup? Hmm. 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 I think I like the puppet plants, and I think I like the smashing grounds. And that's gonna be that. I think plasma, despite having a great effect, is quite bad. We're gonna side it out with the trade-in. I think maybe card destruction needs to go. I'm not opposed to siding stuff out, like siding out whirlwinds or siding out the boras. Let's side out one bora. One Whirlwind, Kappa, that's so weird. That can't be right. That can't be right. Nah, let's side out an Upstart. We're gonna have to damage race them. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I think Upstart's probably a little weaker just because we have to we have to damage race. Maybe we should leave in the Bora because we have to damage race. Hmm. 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 Cyber Dragon's pretty good at 
dealing with Cataster and is pretty good at dealing with the other card that eats snowmen. What is it? Snowman Eater. There we go. So I think we'll bring those in over the other upstarts. It'll probably also help us with the damage race game plan, which I'm looking to initiate if possible. This hand looks pretty solid. We have Foolish Burial, which can send either Malicious or Plague. We could also maybe even send Vayu or something. Hmm. Interdasting. Psychic Commander is pretty cool because he will allow us to attack through a Snowman Eater. Oh no, wait. No, he won't. Because they'll go to 1400. Oh no. That's not great. <laughs> no cap, that's not great. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I want to get value out of my monsters. I don't just want to like throw them willy-nilly into a Snowman Eater. And a set Snowman Eater is not doing anything to us. So we'll just pass one turn. Oh my goodness, I'm getting punished. <laughs> Punished. <laughs> Gotta let him know. <laughs> Brutal. Guess we're losing a card anyway. Please, please not the brain control. Oh, they hit Kalut. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Damn, that sucks. And we drew Krivons. Ooh, that's not the worst. I guess we can make Stardust with the with the, the Krivons. How do we want to proceed here? Because we could make a Stardust. I think we'll just go Gale, Priority Kill the Spirit Reaper. And then attack into the set monster, maybe. Yeah, that's gotta be the plan. Target the Spear Reaper. The Spear Reaper will die of its own accord. Seeing Spear Reaper, hmm, it leads me to believe our opponent might be on zombies. Which means I'm a little bit more okay with attacking than I would have otherwise been. And it looks like they are. Looks like they are on zombies. Okay, cool. We were a little bit mixed up. We boarded in some puppet plants, which are... Uh, Pretty much dead cards. Hopefully we don't draw any of those. Smashing Ground is also pretty bad against zombies, so... Tricky, tricky. Our opponent tricked us game one. Having the Gilman threw me off. Normally zombies don't play Gilman, they just play the two copies of Deep Sea Diva. Mmm, mixing us up. Blue Noser Hoser, he may be new to the format, but he's, he's, already, he's already given us a little bit of complications. We're down pretty bad this game, actually. We're down two cards, and they have a Mizuki, which if we ever kill it at minus value, is going to come back stronger with synchro plays. Hmm. This is this is complicated. This is complicated because now they have two back row. I think we have to psychic commander try to attack over the Mizuki. I think that's the plan. It's the only way our hand can really get rid of the Mizuki without having to waste a card. Alternatively, we could try to make a Stardust Dragon, but trying to make a Stardust Dragon into two back row is not that good. Ask him if the summon is okay. This gets under bottomless trap hole, which is nice. And it will allow us to stabilize the board a little bit. We'll use Psychic Commander's effect. We'll pay 400. That way the Mizuki goes to 100. I think because we are backfooting a little bit and they have the ability to go for a Mizuki synchro play on the next turn, I don't want to pay the full 500. The extra 100 points might actually end up mattering. Mm, I think the rest of our hand, we want to keep in our hand. We don't want to set any bluffs. So I think we're just going to pass. Ideally, our opponent's back row is like Dust Tornado, Mystical Space Typhoon, or like Starlight Road or something like that, and their hand's just full of dead cards. But I, that's obviously not going to be the case, and we're going to have to figure something out after they make their play this turn. Mmm, challenging. Challenging indeed. Mmm. Mmm. Something like a Zombie Master wouldn't be too bad. Dark Arm Dragon isn't quite live just yet. Okay, Deep Sea Diva is bad. I think Deep Sea Diva might even be lethal if our opponent's able to piece together uh, a Nether Summon. Okay, so they're not grabbing a second Diva. Interesting. If they had grabbed a second Diva there, they would be able to lethal us. They could go Deep Sea Diva plus the Goblin Zombie, which you can bring back with the Mizuki. Okay, looks like they are bringing back the Spirit Reaper. They're going for the Spirit Reaper pokes. This is also not bad for them. This is also not bad for them. This is going to put them up a ton of cards. And we're going to have to figure something out being down, what is it, three cards? Very difficult. Very difficult. If they end up missing lethal because of this and we do somehow manage to pull back, that might be something to review. Diva into Diva, make Bionic plus Goyo has got to be pretty strong there as well. If they had any form of extension... Okay, they have Trap Dust Shoot. That's going to be able to take our Cyber Dragon... Or our Krebons, unfortunately, because Cyber Dragon's a great draw here. It allows us to clear the Ally of Justice for free without having to spend a card. 
or spend our normal summon, I should say. Also without having to spend a card. <laughs> Let's see what the opponent is up to. Let's see what sort of dangerous game they want to play. Okay, so they want to send back the Armageddon Knight. That's interesting, because we do have Foolish Burial, which is fine, and Armageddon Knight is not actually a card we can play this turn, because we'll be forced to play the Kree Bonds first. I think we want a Cyber Dragon first. I mean, we just have to, because if the Kree Bonds play resolves, then we can't can't special summon the Cyber Dragon. So we'll special summon this in defense, and we'll ask if the summon is okay. Now we'll contact with the Ally of Justice, special summon a 2000 Chimera Tech. This is going to give us one beater that can attack into the Spirit Reaper. We just need to think, do we want to kill the Spirit Reaper with the Brain Control? I think we are going to try and just go for the Stardust Dragon first. Yeah, let's summon the Kreebons. Let's see if this prompts anything from the opponent. Okay, no response from the opponent. We'll Foolish Burial, send our Malicious, and then we'll activate the Malicious and try to create a Stardust Dragon. This is unfortunately also done at disadvantage, but I think it's important for us to get this damage in now. And then on the following turn, we might be able to OTK thanks to the Brain Control. Stardust Dragon putting in a lot of work this match so far. Really powerful card. I love getting to use it to its fullest effect. 1700? It's possible their back row is like Dust Tornadoes and stuff. They did see the Blackwing stuff in game one. That'd be really nice. So they do go to 4000. That's really big. That's really big for us. Mm, I guess we just pass. I guess we just pass. What could they have that just absolutely ruins us? Caius would be bad. <laughs> There are so many things that just, just end the game from this point. We just kind of have to pray that they boarded in too much stuff that bogged down their hand. There are a lot of really good draws here for the zombie deck. No cap. We're drawing a little bit cold as well. Do we even have five darks for our dark creator? We don't. We have four. But I guess if the chimera attack goes to the grave, then we'll have five. So dark creator's live. Not bad. Not bad. What else is a decent draw? Stratos wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't hate to draw Stratos here. Even a Diamond Dude, just something that gives me two looks at a new card instead of one would be a really good draw. I do think we're very far behind, and we are probably going to lose this game, potentially even on this turn. For the next game, I'm going to be looking to side back out the Puppet Plants, and probably side out the Smashing Grounds as well. Call of the Haunted, bring back Diva. Okay. So they did have the Extender, was that last turn? Was this set last turn? I'm not even sure. Or was that the new set? Hmm, I'm gonna have to rewatch the tapes for that. They did have the extender though. They could have lethal dust last turn if the call of the hunt was set. I'm not sure if that was the card that was set or if there was a there was another one there. Okay, Sangin, that's a great summon. They're gonna be able to make an eight star here, which is potentially colossal, dark end, either of those, very strong. They do break our board. Thought ruler. Even better. Stops the brain control, gains them life points. It's going to be a really difficult task to win the game from this point. We need a miracle. I think the only thing that could really do it is... Not even Blizzard does it because we don't have a level 4. I think we're screwed. We might be looking at concession territory here pretty soon. Opponents searching their plague, so they have their zombie tuner online. Thought Ruler's going to attack over Stardust. We're going to take 200, and they're going to gain 2700. Er... 2,500. 2,500. They gain 2,500. That's what that's what it is, because you, you kill the 25. You gain... Okay, there, there you go. There you go. You, you get it. You get it. You get, you, get the, you get the vibes. All right, cool. Stratos. That was on the list of things that I thought weren't bad draws, but in the face of a Thought Ruler Archfiend, it's... It's not great. <laughs> well, I guess we'll try it. I guess we'll try the Stratos, see if it, if it gets us anything. We'll go Stratos, activate. And they have a Skill Drain. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Well, that changes things a little bit. That changes things a little bit. Now they're at low enough, and their Thought Ruler won't be able to stop a Brain Control. Is there a way? Is there a series of top decks we could draw that would eliminate our opponent from 1,000 life points? Well, we do play Mind Control, so now I think we just straight up have to go for it. I think we straight up have to go for the Brain Control on the Thought Ruler. We're going to be able to put our opponent to 1,000 and then hopefully win the game with a lucky top deck next turn. If not, oh well, but this is giving us a lot more chances than we had initially. Now that I'm thinking about it, Mind Control doesn't actually do it either. That's tough. 
That's tough. Hmm. It would have to be something really lucky. Maybe the Dark Creator. Maybe that's what gets us back in this game. They have skilled right out now, so they can't Bryonic us. They can't really do any of their powerful effects. So maybe a little bit of a misstep for the opponent to flip the skill drain since the Stratos isn't really searching for anything that important. Maybe just let the Stratos resolve and keep the Thought Ruler as backup for w whatever. Pyramid Turtle's gonna crash. Oh my goodness, they're gonna go super low. They're gonna go down to 400 here. That's insane. They're going down in the life points. I wonder if they have a big beater here to get with the Pyramid Turtle. Ooh, they have Ill Blood. That's a pretty big beater. It's another, another card that's going to give us a lot of trouble. We're going to take 900. Then the Illblood's going to be able to attack over the Chimera tech, and we're going to have to get something really good. Or we are dead on board. Dark Arm Dragon with 5 Darks Engrave is not going to do it. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done from the opponent. Well done, well done. We had a little bit of a of a chance there, and then, and then nope, nope, no chance. <laughs> Okay, the Smashing Grounds and the Puppet Plants gotta come back out. Now that we know we're playing against zombies, how do we want to side? I think Nobleman of Crossout is a lot better now that we know we're against zombies. I think Trap Dust Shoot is also a lot better. And Deck Devastation Virus is on my radar as something to consider. Deck Devastation is not bad. Maybe we, we bring in the Deck Dev, we bring in the Nobleman and the Trap Dust Shoot. We bring in Gores to protect ourselves from Bryonic OTK. Also as a way to fuel our Deck Devastation Virus. And then I think we will bring in the Bora again because we're going first and we want a large number of Blackwing Normal Summons. He said, cool deck, by the way. Thanks, you too. Always love the zombie deck. Love seeing it in action. And I always love seeing Thought Ruler, Archfiend, on display. Our opening hand is pretty solid. Pretty solid. We've got Rhoda for Stratos or Armageddon Knight. Hmm. We could also Rhoda for Greffer. Greffer's not bad. Greffer's not bad. We could go for a turn two kill... If we go Greffer make Stardust this turn, there's a lot to process here. Greffer pitch malicious, send Vayu. He said his hand is pretty dog. Well, don't tell us that, because now we're going to summon Bora Pass. <laughs> now, now you're down bad. Now you're down bad. You never want to tell your opponent what you got. That's rule number one, all right? Hey, I, I, what am I going to do with that information now? I'm just... <laughs> I'm gonna be able to, to to maximize on that, hopefully, you know, a little bit. Ooh, Bora's or not Bora, Blizzy's a good draw. Blizzy hands. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. They've got a set monster and they've got a back row. How's it best to play into back row? Probably with the Greffer move, if I'm gonna be honest. I think that's just the best move. Yeah, I think that's just the best move. We'll go ahead and grab our Dark Greffer. And I think we can OTK. I believe Armed Wing plus Bora plus Greffer plus Dark Armed. Oops. <laughs> Zoomed in. Also plus Kalut plus Ratio. That's gonna be that's gonna be a super lethal, super super duper lethal. So, so let's see if we can we can pull it off. I'm gonna normal summon the Greffer and say priority, if he allows us. The cost is gonna be pitching malicious. Is this okay? Okay. Looks like it's gonna be all right. We will go ahead and Foolish Burial, not Foolish Burial, but send from our deck to the graveyard. Ooh, I'm just now considering the repercussions of all this. Dark Arm Dragon might not be able to pop both the back row and the monster. I think we need to send Plague. I think we need to send Plague now, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, that's the only way this is going to work. Okay, we'll use Malicious plus Plague. We'll stack the Blizzy. I think that's the best best way to do this and we'll malicious before we play so we don't shuffle away the blizzy because we do want to be able to top deck that in case things go south this turn now we'll use plague spreader another upside to using plague spreader is because they have zombie master and if they are able to stop this like with like a torrential or something we don't want the plague spreader to be in the graveyard for them to combo off of with their own zombie master okay let's let's synchro this guy and the Malicious. Or do we go into Bryonic? We should have Foolish first, too. We're not going to be able to summon Dark Arm now. I, I'm, I'm all over the place this game. I'm all over the place. But you know what? Hey, fuck it. Fuck it. We got we got Stardust out. We got, our, we got our boys. Yeah, for some reason, I thought we would have one more Dark. Hmm. Messed up there. Messed up there for sure. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we'll just, we'll just go from here. Attack with Bora the Spear. See if we can get some Pierce damage in. 
Ooh, attacked over the plague for a lot of pierce damage. Do we want to collude? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think we need to collude here. I think we can just go for attacks with the other two monsters. They might be able to Goyo take our Stardust, which is a problem. But they are super low, and we're top taking Blizzy next turn. I think we're good. I think we're golden to win this game. I'm going to be honest, I think there's not very much our opponent can do from 2300 to really stop us unless they kill us this turn. How could they kill us this turn? I guess it would be like some combination of Brain, Bryonic, Koyo Guardian, Dark Arm Dragon. Call of the Haunted's pretty good. Okay, Caius is pretty good too. Caius can target the Stardust. Clear that for us. But they can't attack into Bora because we've got Kalut. And if they attack into the Greffer, it's just a losing fight, my guy. It's just a losing fight. If they do nothing, we'll be able to... Hmm. If they do nothing, what do we do? I guess we could Foolish Special Dark Armed and then go... I think Foolish is Checkmate. Because we Foolish, we can Special Dark Armed. If they have DD Crow, then they're forced to DD Crow before we summon the Dark Armed. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's go Foolish for Shura... Or actually, let's Foolish Bora. Yeah, let's Foolish Bora. Because we don't really want to draw that, but drawing Shore is better. I mean, this is in, like, the really corner case situation. They have, like, Threatening Roar plus, like, Double DD Crow or something. Okay, cool. So, Special Summon Dark Arm Dragon. Thankfully, we're not getting punished for our sloppy play last turn. Because that was... That was messy. That was really, really messy. This is going to target the Caius. Let's see if they have a back row to chain. No, they do not. Dark Arm Dragon is going to banish the Greffer. Target their other back row. And then we should be able to attack directly with Dark Arm Dragon for lethal. Let's see if this works. One time. One time for the fans. Do we get it? Did we get there? Did we defeat our opponent? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps we did. Perhaps Destiny Hero Black Wings is the strongest deck. Did we disconnect? Did we disconnect on the lethal attack? That's good. What is he saying? Lag, I think. Oh, okay, he's lagging a bit. Totally fair. Dark armed attack. He said he's a deaf dead though. Yeah, drew the ill blood. Ooh, and the gores with call. And the dark armed. Oof. That's unlucky. Very unlucky. Very unlucky. GG's to our opponent. We misplayed a little bit in the last game, but thankfully weren't weren't punished. Uh, shout outs to Blue Noser Hoser for being a cool dude and for the love on the channel. Appreciate it. Always appreciate that kind of thing. Show a little love on this video. Smash a little like. Spread some of that good vibes. And uh, see you guys in the next video. E3 Yu-Gi-Oh! Signing off. Peace, everyone.